Um, where's the contagion from FX to BlockFi? And this was not entirely unexpected? Not entirely unexpected. We've been expecting a bankruptcy filing, and now we have that in New Jersey and a concurrent uh, process going on in Bermuda as well. We have a number of entities here, but what's important is the details of how big BlockFi is as well and how far the tentacles go. With BlockFi, you have a company with assets between $1 and $10 billion, according to the most recent filing. And of the creditors, there are more than 100,000, according to this filing. Now, these details are subject to change. The top 50 creditors are owed more than $1 billion. That is more than $700 million. That is really allocated here to the trustee for a number of depositors, as well as hundreds of millions tied to FTX as well. Now, remember, FTX and BlockFi initially had a deal in which FTX was going to throw a lifeline over to BlockFi. But, uh, of course, that deal has not materialized as initially planned, given the problems that FTX itself. Now, the rest of the creditors, most of them, besides the SEC, which is still owed $30 million, most of them owe between one, are owed between $1 million and $30 million. We don't know who those folks are. Remember, FTX had asked to not disclose their creditors, at least initially, and we'll see whether we ever find out who they are, because the market investors in this industry certainly do want to know. In terms of the issue with international complications, are we going to see the same problem here as we've seen with FTX? We know that they filed concurrently in Bermuda, but to your point here, the tensions between the Bahamas and the United States when it comes to the FD FTX situation is significant. If you look at the story today by Katanga Johnson, it's amazing to see the Bahamas Attorney General call the new FTX CEO statements regrettable and really defending the nation approach to financial regulation here. Of course, every regular, uh, regulator and lawmaker around the world is worried about their own constituents here and them getting their money back. But again, remember, given that these entities, there are so many across the world for each of them, it will be a complicated story on who gets what and for how much, Guy.